Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Zephatali Walsh wins inaugural flying car race, Alaska gets 54 GPS guided routes added to airspace, Honda Jet Elite gets even more elite. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm your host Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Zephatali Walsh wins inaugural flying car race. In autumn 2022, history was made on the salt flats of South Australia when airspeeder pilot Zephatali Walsh beat fellow competitor Fabio Tischler in the frenetic inaugural EXA remotely piloted race. The race occasioned the first instance in which the two pilots were given license to press their 4.1 meter long eVTOL machines to the utmost in a blade to blade fully competitive remote race setting. The race took place over a one kilometer digital sky track with the competition playing out in two sessions. The action was punctuated by rapid battery swap pit stops that added a compelling strategic aspect to the event, much as tire and repair pit stop stratagems impart nuance, complexity, and lively fan debate to Formula One automotive racing. The South Australian round was the first of several XL remotely piloted races that will serve as the developmental and feeder series for the fully crewed Airspeeder Grand Prix slated to get underway in 2024. To support the historic first race, Alada Aeronautics, the technical team that developed and manufactured the competing speeders, built race and pilot control stations, 5G networks, augmented reality sky tracks, and engineering and team control stations akin to those seen in elite automotive motor racing. And after the break, Marines enlist command to build cargo UAS prototype. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John Kay. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Unbridled passion unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor, a commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at hartzellaviation.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Marines enlist Command to build cargo UAS prototype. Command has been selected to build a logistics UAS prototype for the United States Marine Corps. Command will build a funded military version of its cargo UAV, a purpose-built autonomous medium lift logistics vehicle. Cargo UAV carries up to 800 pounds of payload and is designed to operate in austere environments. The USMC project is being managed by NAVAIR PMA-263 under the Medium Unmanned Logistics Systems AIR program. Once the prototype is constructed, Cargo UAV will complete a field user capability assessment conducted in an operationally relevant test environment. General Atomics unveils Great Eagle 25 Modernized Variant General Atomics Aeronautical Systems has launched the newest variant of its Great Eagle line with the GE-25M improving on the base model with open architecture, MOSA, and MDO capabilities. The 25M is a modernized Gray Eagle using updated ground systems, advanced data links, and an upgraded propulsion system that greatly enhances its ability to grow into additional mission portfolios using its modular open systems approach and multi-domain operations capable system. The first two 25Ms began their conversion from GEER aircraft earlier this year. Disney's Gulfstream 1 to appear at Palm Springs Air Museum. An exclusive private viewing party for Walt Disney's Grumman Gulfstream 1 plane will take place this weekend, Saturday, October 15th at 5.30 p.m. at the Palm Springs Air Museum. 
Disney archivist Ed Ovalier will speak about the airplane's history. Beer, wine, soft drinks, and light hors d'oeuvres will be served. Admission is $50 for the general public, $40 for Palm Springs Air Museum members, and for D23 Gold members. The Gulfstream jet will then go on display for the general public starting Sunday, October 16th. Aura Aero reports 130 new letters of intent. Aura Aero has now signed more than 130 letters of intent with a variety of takers for its all-electric regional transport aircraft. Aura Aero held an airline day to bring together a number of buyers and prospective operators, addressing questions and concerns regarding the development process. A discussion process with visiting airline personnel brought to light a number of issues and recommendations the company says will affect the final outcome of their electric regional aircraft, ERA as it's currently designated, due to enter service in 2027. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Alaska gets 54 GPS-guided routes added to airspace. Just in time for the start of serious weather, the FAA is publishing 54 GPS-guided routes in Alaska, allowing pilots to navigate direct flight paths at lower altitudes to avoid icing conditions. The 30 new and 24 amended terminal transition routes, known as T-routes, are part of the FAA's Alaska Aviation Safety Initiative. Acting FAA Administrator Billy Nolan said, quote, Flying in Alaska is unlike any other place in the United States. T-routes will provide pilots additional options for completing their mission safely in this uniquely challenging environment, end quote. Pilots use T-routes to navigate along specific points while flying under instrument flight rules using approved GPS slash GNSS equipment. To date, 13 have been activated. Another 20 are expected to go live in November and December and the remainder in 2023. The FAA launched the Alaska Aviation Safety Initiative in October 2020. The agency issued 11 recommendations last October on how to increase aviation safety in Alaska after a comprehensive year-long examination of safety issues specific to Alaska, where more than 80 percent of communities are accessible only by air. The development of T-routes was included in those recommendations. The FAA is developing additional T-routes to replace low-frequency and medium-frequency airways between now and 2025. And after these messages, Honda Jet Elite gets even more elite. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth-enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Honda Jet Elite gets even more elite. There's a new upgrade package for the Honda Jet Elite. The package offers current Honda Jet Elite owners the opportunity to implement Honda Aircraft Company's latest performance and avionics software upgrades on their aircraft. The upgrade package for the Honda Jet Elite, presented by the Advanced Performance Modification Group, will be available as an upgrade for the Honda Jet Elite model. The performance upgrade will increase the maximum takeoff weight by 200 pounds. This performance upgrade allows customers to fly up to 120 nautical miles further at a higher payload or take an additional passenger. Additionally, the avionics software upgrade options include installation of FAA Datacom and ACARS, which replace traditional voice command with text-based messaging to improve the clarity and efficiency of communications. 
Finally, combined with the newly introduced advanced steering augmentation system, not only will the customer experience reduced pilot workload, they will benefit from an increased crosswind operational capability. The upgrade package expands possibilities with no compromises in baseline efficiency. The upgrade package will be available for installation at Honda Aircraft Company's authorized service centers around the globe, beginning in the U.S. later this year. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!